Hey everybody, what's up? It is Dom here back once again doing an update for my single player experience for you guys here to look at and have some takeaways. I've got a couple good recommendations here. I've added some of them in there and I've also looked more into um, some stuff that might help you guys there. Done some tweaking here and there. Also, uh, so let's just jump into all the mods here. 30 big old mods here for the ultimate single player experience. Starting off, we have CB underscore A3. You gotta have it for everything. It's just a must have. Even enhanced movement and later down the line, you'll see we have the rework for it, which fixes some of the bugs there. It just it adds jumping in armor. It just adds jumping in armor. Let's be honest. Ghost Recon third person camera. That's a preference mod there for me. And basically, uh, just over the shoulder, more like the Ghost Recon games. If you ever played them? Um, like I said, more preference. You wouldn't need that one if you don't enjoy it. Uh, no weapon sway. Like I said, a couple more of these are more preferences. Uh, you can turn that on or off if you don't care for uh, having them. Splendid smoke lets you see smoke better. Bloodlust Red Devils adds a little bit more uh, blood to the game there. Universal ammo system, and there should be another one here down the line, UAS payload, that go together there, adding more grenades and ammo variants there. Improved melee system adds melee to the game. It's great. It's fantastic. Atlas hit markers adds the Call of Duty style uh, hit markers with the little bing whenever you get the kill confirmed. Remove stamina. Some more, like I said, with the preferences there. Alternative running goes perfect with the remove stamina and the uh, weapon sway as I had before because it adds like a triple time. It adds that Call of Duty Warzone run. It's an extreme run. It's great whenever you want to run over a kilometer. Project Infinite Inspect Weapon is great to see kind of look all around your weapon. Ragdoll on Command. I love this one in uh, GTA 5 when you just throw yourself on the ground. I thought it was a fun one there to add in there. Zeus Enhance. Tweak some of the Zeus things there for you guys. Lamb's Danger and Lamb's Suppression helps to make the AI smarter when it comes to dealing with buildings and suppressing, suppressing uh, fire on them. Freestyle crash landing adds a way to survive the crashes, uh, not necessarily just splatter your dead instantly, but have a chance to be revived. Fluid incremental door opening. This is a great um, recommendation I've gotten where you can just slightly peek, open the doors. I hadn't used this in a long time, but I've been using it a lot more um, since testing this out for the last couple of days, and I love it. It's great. GI squad radar, the thing you can just turn on or off makes it a little bit easier to see where everyone's at sort them out and whatnot blast core edited helps make the explosions a bit better now back then blast core did have some problems with crashing games but i haven't ran into any yet which is weird because it hasn't updated in a long time so ace single player helps to add in some of the functions there that you may need for ace but also not using the medical system which would be a pain in the butt given that this is a single player experience and you're going to be relying off of your ai comrades that's a big thing to stress there is you kind of want to tweak the ai to to actually help you you know what i mean so advanced repelling makes it so you don't just fall when repelling i've been there done that advanced towing i've had use of a bunch especially in like liberation missions MGI Advanced Module, we'll get into this one in particular uh, for their Heal and Revive system that's set up. Real Engine adds camo and a couple more stuff for the AI. I enjoy this mostly for the camo and the maps so the AI just doesn't see you instantly but at the same time they're not brain dead and they're like, where are you at? So, Drongo's Command Enhancement is pretty good. Uh, I had gotten recommended all in one. I like that one too. It's kind of more of a preference one. I like Durango's because uh, it's really easy to switch between if you want to play as one of your AI because you're like, I just want to go and play as them because I'm down or uh, if you want to yell at them to get in a vehicle or get out or have high command. Um, it's got a couple more things uh, for formations that are nice. A lot of a lot of really cool things there that you can uh, mess around with with Durango's command enhancement. And Durango's map population, uh, this one's more preference for me for just going in and quickly creating a mission with just anything um i think it's just as good as the mcc sandbox i kind of glimpsed over that one uh might actually forgot to mention that one there and just a quicker way to get into zeus there um especially if you're in multiplayer i will say that if you do transfer this over to multiplayer it, it does work so let's jump in here and let's go check out some stuff everybody how about that?
So by using the real engine in Arma 3, this is like the closest I've ever gotten to the AI here without them like actually spotting me. Now I imagine once I get a little too close for comfort like right up on their face, he's eventually gonna see me and freak out. So, but I might be able actually to pop that guy and then yeah, they're all gonna get angry there. Next we'll go into MGI here in the enhanced modules and we'll go and put down the heal and revive module here. We can go and set them to West Lead, uh, West Leaders Played Groups. The West Playable Groups are all West. I usually do the West Playable Groups here, so it's more of just the actual people we mess around with here. Don't mess around with any other settings typically. And what I'll do is I'll add an attribute here and make sure they're all playable, just to make sure it goes there. And then we'll see what happens after we take a little bit of damage here. So after dinging one of our buddies here, we can see that he's knocked out. And in my opinion, this is one of the better uh, revive scripts, revive setups here, because it's more about, I guess you would say, not getting insta-killed, which is nice, in my opinion at least. I mean, some people might enjoy that, but it kind of tweaks that setting there of not getting insta-killed. You can change it mission to mission or situation to situation but i in particular for my single player scenarios i want the ai to actually be able to go and help me when i get down which um i will show here i'll go and pop down some enemies that are going to go and rip me up real quick hopefully they'll ding me is he going to shoot me in particular or is he going to shoot everybody else but me probably all right, there we go. So he got me, and I think he got one of my friends too. So you can see that I'm knocked out. I'm not dead though, and that my friend Obendo will actually come and prioritize healing me here in a second. So there, I think yeah, he's healing this guy. It's got a bit of a range on the heal. I'm not too crazy about that in particular though. So yeah, if I hit the Windows key also, this is gonna open up that Drongo's. Um, I believe it's like combat enhancement. Let's see. Drongo, yeah, Drongo's uh, command enhancement here. You can see I can switch to playing as one of the other AIs. Tells me a bit about the equipment there for them. I have some commands there if I want to put them in certain formations, if I wanted them to follow along, uh, breach buildings, if I want to call in air support, go into high command, tell them to set up waypoints around the map which is really nice and really in-depth there. Some stuff that I haven't even like begin to like touch or use, but so there's those two in particular that are really useful. Of course, on the bottom, you can see the UI radar. You can turn it on or off, which is really nice there. And I do have, uh, like I said, the ACE stuff there we can still mess around with, which is always nice to have some of the functions of ACE, you know, but in particular, the ACE medical for single player isn't always the best, so to say, but everything else, you know, is very much enjoyable and kind of needed in Arma, but the medical can be a little rough for single player experiences there. For those that haven't seen it, if you double tap shift there, you'll be able to do this crazy fast enhanced run there. But all in all, that's just a small little showcase here for you guys. I will have a link down below to a mod collection for you guys to check out with all the mods there. And hopefully an HTML link that you can also import there. Um, if you guys have any more recommendations or any problems there along the way, leave them down in the comments below. And uh, we'll figure them out for you guys. Till then, keep it safe everyone. Peace out.